let's talk about retinol. Now this is an ingredient that has once again taken off and everybody is talking about it as another buzz ingredient that's going around. But a lot of people don't even know what the benefits are of the product as well as the do's and don'ts while using a product containing retinols. So I'm going to give you guys a list of the do's and don'ts as well as the benefits of what happens with your skin when you do use this product or what will happen, what can you expect. So let's have a look and see what retinol is. If this is your first time joining me on my channel and you would like to find out how to love your skin and to treat it right, go ahead and click on that subscribe button on there as well as the bell so that you don't miss out on any video. So let's have a look at your vitamin A or your, your retinol. So what is it? Because everybody's been talking about it. Now you get vitamin A in three different forms. Firstly, it is in what we eat. It is in our vegetables that we eat. Secondly, you get it in medication form, which is specifically for acne treatments. And I will do a full video on um, your vitamin A for acne treatments because a lot of people don't really know what is the do's and don'ts while taking this medication. Also, a lot of doctors don't really tell you any of these things that you should be doing or not doing while using this medication. And thirdly, you get it in a topical form, meaning it is either in a serum, ointment, or in a cream consistency in a form. Okay. Now, I am going to be talking about the third form, which is your retinol, which you find in an ointment or a serum or a moisturizer. And I'm just going to give you a couple of the benefits as well as the do's and don'ts while using this product. Now, you do find this product or this ingredient in different concentrations or percentages. And generally when you purchase it off the shelf in the stores, the percentage and the concentration of it is really low. It's not a very um, strong, potent product at that point in time because retinol in general is a very strong ingredient and if you don't use it correctly or in, like in the correct way or if you don't use other correct products and things that you should be doing with it, it can cause harm for the skin. So, when you purchase it off shelf, the concentration is really low just to prevent anything from really major happening with your skin. So getting end results will take a lot longer than what it would when you have something in a higher concentration. Now the high concentrations you can only get from a cinematologist or a dermatologist. Now the reason for that is once again because of it being such a potent ingredient. So what does retinol do? Why does everybody talk about it? Why does everybody want it? And everybody is saying, oh, but retinol is great for anti-aging. It is not just great for anti-aging, although that is the main reason why this ingredient is there. Okay, so well, how does it work with anti-aging? How does it help with aging skin? Now, this is one of the only ingredients that can actually reverse the signs of aging. How does it do that? It does that by going and stimulating the collagen and elastin fibers in the skin itself. Now collagen and elastin is what is in your skin, giving it the flexibility and the plumpness and the firmness in the skin. When they aren't at their optimal level, when they aren't strong and supple, if I can put it that way, your skin starts to sag and you get fine lines and wrinkles. Now this ingredient goes and stimulates them and it helps them to, strong, to strengthen their bonds and you actually have a smoother looking skin with less fine lines and wrinkles. It also helps with um, pigmentation. Now the one way it really works very well is with sun induced pigmentation or your sun damage because that is more topical in the skin. It also works with like your melasma as well as hormone induced pigmentation. Um, like during pregnancies and that but it takes a lot longer to work because that pigmentation form is a lot deeper in the skin meaning it will take a lot longer for those pigment cells to surface and to be shed off now using a retinol ointment on acne skins also does wonders because it can help to minimize it before you use this on your acne skin please consult a cinematologist or a dermatologist first to ensure that you can use it with what you are using, whether it is medication, whether it is other forms of product, because it is quite
bites and intense ingredient and you don't want to cause any more harm you want to actually just get rid of the acne you don't want to have any more skin problems now how it works is it actually helps to shed the dead skins meaning that it will help to open up the pores so the pores won't get clogged up easily and this will help to lessen the acne now it works in a similar way for like any other skin concern okay retinol is an exfoliating ingredient if you look at it in a different light okay because what it does is it helps to stimulate skin cell turnover meaning that the new skin cells are formed at a lot faster rate than what it would in a normal daily life okay because in when we are in our ages of up to about 28 we get new skin cells or we shed daily and we get new skin cells every 28 30 two days roughly okay now we go on our 30s and this goes up to about 40 days and then we get to our 50s and then it goes up to 60 days and 90 days so what this does is it actually helps to stimulate your skin cell turnover so that it doesn't take that long to get new fresh skin cells and it will actually help to exfoliate the skin now by exfoliating the skin it helps to lift off anything that's in the bottom layers of the epidermis and helps to push it up and out of the skin okay so it's exfoliating so by doing that generally when you, especially for pigmentation when you do use this ingredient based product what will happen is if you've got pigmentation the pigmentation generally should be going darker before it goes lighter because it helps to bring everything from the bottom up and out okay now this so this is how it works and it is an amazing product for that now if we have to look at the do's and don'ts first thing is when you start using it you start using it once a week not more than that just so that your skin can um, accommodate to it and just you see how your skin tolerates this ingredient once again it is a very potent ingredient and then after about three four weeks if you see that your skin hasn't had any reactions in a negative way towards this ingredient you can up it to twice a week and then again you use it for about three four weeks if there hasn't been any side effects you can use it up to three times a week and so on you build it up until you can use it every single month this product is only to be used at night. Please do not use your retinol products in the mornings. Even if you do use an SPF, do not use this product in the morning. It is only for nighttime use. Okay. Even if you do use it only at night, please ensure that you do wash your face the next morning with your preferred um, face wash and continue with the rest of your routine. It, like a lot of people do cleanse, tone, Serum, moisturize, and SPF, that is their normal routine. Or if you don't use a serum, it will be cleansed, tone, moisturize, and SPF. But please ensure that you do apply your SPF every single morning. This is extremely important while using this product. Because even though it helps to minimize pigmentation in the skin, if you don't wear an SPF, it can actually worsen because your skin becomes sun sensitive, meaning you can burn a lot easier. So please ensure that you wear your SPF every morning. And don't think because my makeup has got SPF that it's fine and covered. You're not. You still need a proper SPF and then you can apply your makeup on top of that. Okay. Um, so that is the one thing. Also while using this product, when you go for any intense treatments like facial peels or if you go for waxing, please stop using the product for at least two weeks before and two weeks after. Because of it having that exfoliation effect on the skin, your skin can become once again sensitive and you can burn and skin can be ripped off when you go for waxing and we don't want that because then you're going to have other skin problems again that you have to treat. So please remember not to use it for two weeks before and after any chemical peels, any waxing, even if you go for laser treatments which is specifically for um, either it's for laser hair removal or it's for um, skin rejuvenation, please don't use your retinol close to the time that you would go and have your treatment done. Because of what you can find on your skin while you are using a retinol. Now these are, some people call it side effects. This is just what happens while you're using this, because once again, remember, this is quite a potent ingredient. You can see on your skin, after you've used it for a while, your skin might become sensitive in the sense that it looks red, it looks inflamed, it's quite sensitive to the touch. This is also a normal thing, what happens or what you should do when this happens, is you should lessen the amount of time that you use it. So even if you say, say you've used it once a week, okay? And by the third or fourth week, you find that my skin has become quite sensitive. I must rather you know, stop using it. 
Don't stop using it, just less than the time. So instead of using it every week, just use it every second week and see how your skin copes with it then. Okay. You can also find your skin to become dry and flaky. This is also once again a normal thing. Your skin is just starting to stabilize and tolerate and get used to this ingredient. You can even find that your skin will have a fine rash on it. Um, and this is one of the main reasons why a lot of people stop using it because they say that they are allergic to this product. You are not really allergic to the ingredient. It's just your skin isn't very healthy, so it will happen. Once again, just lessen the amount of times that you do use this ingredient or the product um, having this ingredient. Okay. You can also find that your skin may become darker, especially if you've got pigmentation, the skin will become darker, like I said earlier. That when you've got pigmentation, the skin will go darker before it goes lighter. Now it's not going to happen overnight. Your skins are going to be darker tomorrow and the day after it's going to be lighter. It will take time for that, but if even after a month you see that it actually is not going lighter again, please go and visit your dermatologist or somatologist and they can do further treatments and further analysis and see exactly what is causing it. Um, what else is there? Okay, so your flaking, your sensitivity, your rashes, you can even get more breakouts, you can even get like pimples, which is also, once again, it's a normal thing, your skin is just helping, your skin is yeah, it's just cleaning out your skin, your skin is starting to balance out, so that is all normal what you can expect while using this product. But after using it for at least four to six months, that is when you will actually see very good results on your skin. Generally, any product will take anything between four to six months for you to see results. Um, it's just because of the way that your skin is, the way that your skin regenerates new skin cells and the way that your skin adapts to it. It's the same as when you go on a diet. The first week you're not going to lose weight, you're actually only going to lose weight after the second, third month and that is just because that is just the way that our bodies work, same way with our skins. Okay. Also, once again, just a reminder, when you are using retinol products, do not exfoliate on the same day. So don't exfoliate um, and then go and apply your retinol straight afterwards because you're exfoliating and applying exfoliating treatment on top of that. You will have extreme dryness. You can get severe sensitivity, lots of flaking. Um, you even can get like rashes on the skin. So please try and avoid to do those two together on the same night. If you are exfoliating tonight, please only use your retinol the following night. And extremely important, this is one thing that a lot of people don't do and I think I've mentioned it in the start, is to wear your SPF every single day. This is a product that you cannot skip. So even if you're not using your, your retinol every single night, please still use your SPF every single day. I have done a video regarding sunscreens. And you can go ahead and go and have a look at that and see exactly why we need to wear sunscreen every day. But using products containing retinol, the retinol doesn't just disappear out of your skin when you wash it off. It actually goes and sits in the skin and it still works even though if you don't use it every single day. That is it for today guys. If you've got any more queries regarding retinol, the usage of it, the do's and don'ts, or if there's anything else that you want to ask me, please leave a comment below. If you guys don't want to have a comment down below and you don't want everybody else to see it, I've got my email address down in the description so that you can just drop me an email and I will gladly get back to you guys personally that way as well. Okay, so please remember to love your skin so you just can come back because you've only got one. So you have to treat it right. Okay, so enjoy the rest of your day guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.